So let's have a look at the actual software itself. Let's have a look at the tool. So I'm listening to Jira. Um, I'm just using a, a demo Jira, um, Teams in Space, those who have seen it before. Um, but everything I'm showing you here is going to apply to, to the Jiras and stuff that you have. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start and create a plan from scratch at the top here. So if you install the portfolio plugin, whoever looks after your system, you'll have this option. I'm going to create a plan. So the first thing that's, that's different, I guess, is this wizard, if you like, that will take you through and, and create a plan for you. You can create your first portfolio plan in about 30 seconds, which is fantastic. So the first thing we need to do is give it a, a name. I'm going to call mine... FY17 plan, and it's just going to walk me through. First, uh, the second step is connect your team's work. Now, this is uh, one of the other sort of huge changes in Portfolio 2. Uh, those who use the first version, you had to um, say this is the scope of work. So this is on that last slide. This is the scope, this is the tasks that we're planning for. And it used to be that you had to sort of say, I want everything in this project plus this project, not this, that is issue type story. Which is fine if you're used to Jira, but those who aren't used to it, um, or if you didn't get it quite right, you think you're planning with everything and actually you've missed some issues out and your plan's not going to be right. So, in Portfolio 2, you can actually just pick and connect to either a board, so your scrum board or your project board that you're in, a project or a filter that you always could. Uh, we'll talk a bit later why this is so good, but here's my boards here. I'm just going to link to um, iOS app and the uh, Android app. You can connect as many different things as you like and a combination of boards and things as well. So you really can scoop up um, whatever selection of issues. It doesn't matter how your Jira is actually configured. On to the next, part three. Um, select releases. So we've picked our tasks. As you know, we now need two other things to make a plan. We need resources and we need uh, a time element. And releases is just very much that time element. It's automatically looked at both of the releases that relate to the issues in the boards that we just picked. And we can just suck them up. We can change this at any point in our plan. It's just making it easier for us just to, to select everything as we go. And you can deselect. You don't have to take, it's not all or nothing. So I'll just take everything in for now. And as you know, we've got tasks and time. We need some people to do the work. And it automatically creates us a, a team per board. And we'll talk a bit more uh, about this when we get in. But this is actually noticed on my board and what sprint they're on. It knows that they're working in Scrum um, and their, uh, their average velocity for the team. We'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, but it's ultimately created them for us. Easy. Very last thing is just confirm. So based on everything you've told me, this is the issues I'm going to bring in. Uh, and you can go and just double check that, yep, that is the ones I want. I didn't want that one, or I did. Done. Five really simple steps, and um, we've created our first plan, like we're, we're forecasting now.